wondering what I'm doing here. Believe me, once you play the role of God, you can do just about anything you like. 
In fact, that's the question people ask me more often than not. What was it really like to play the role of God? I tell them it was pretty easy. After all, we're roughly the same age anyway. <laughs> How many of you out there have actually seen the movie, Oh God? If you have, put your hands together for me. Thank you. One of my big hits. Yeah, well, but when we first started shooting the picture, our director was none other than the great comedian himself, Carl Reiner. He took me aside and said, George, I'd like to get you into character as quickly as possible. So let's have your take on, on the story of creation. I thought to myself, the story of creation, no problem. God created the world in six days. On the seventh day, he rested. On the eighth day, he started getting complaints. <laughs> he said, that's very cute, George. But there's one more area of controversy that needs to be addressed. It has to do with the birthplace of Jesus. You see, some experts are saying it wasn't Bethlehem after all. It might have been some other little town. I said, well, I, I don't know too much about the little town of Bethlehem. But I can tell you one place Jesus wasn't born. That's for certain. Washington, D.C. Because that's the last place you'd find three wise men and a virgin. <laughs> it's a pretty hip crowd. <laughs> but getting back to the role of God, that, that was a fun acting job. You know, they say great actors have to have techniques like to, to be able to laugh on cue and then, and then to cry on cue. Simple for me. Anytime the director wants me to laugh, that's easy. I just think of my sex life. <laughs> and then on the other hand, if the director wants me to cry, I think of my sex life. <laughs> Speaking of sex life, I had a young kid come up to me. He said, Mr. Burns, I think you're a very lucky man. All these beautiful women hanging off your arm. But have you ever been lucky enough to have two women in bed at the same time? I said, listen, kid, at my age, I need two women in bed at the same time. In case I fall asleep, they have each other to talk to. <laughs> when you get this age, you never know when a nap's gonna come over you. <laughs> but let, 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 let's talk about Christmas. My favorite time of year. How many people have been to New York City? <laughs> Macy's, 34th Street, 7th Avenue. This sweetheart knows where that is. I like to watch Santa Claus in action. After all, he's got the best job in the whole world. He's got the addresses to all the naughty little girls. <laughs> That's my kind of job. You know, De Gracie and I used to do this thing on, on Christmas Eve and sort of creep downstairs quietly and rustle about and put presents under the tree just to make believe Santa was in the house. Well, one Christmas morning in particular, I said to my daughter Sandy, so sweetheart, did you hear Santa come down the chimney last night? She said, no, Dad, but I heard what he said when he stubbed his toe on the couch. <laughs> Kids. Well, so much for laughs. It's time to do what I do best, sing. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. How you doing, kid? <laughs> Could you tell me that story? Uh, what tell the story? story, the one I love about. What story? You know, your best friend was Jack Benny. Jack Benny, my best. How many people remember Jack Benny? Oh, yeah. you, you, you've got a lot of funny stories of Jack Benny, but one in particular I just love. Jack, you're thinking about the breakfast story. Yes, that's one. Jack, thanks, kid. How about a hand for this kid? He's wonderful. Isn't he? <laughs> See you later, kid. Jack Benny. Jack Benny was one of those people. He never liked what you ordered. He always wanted what you ordered, pardon me. He never liked his food. You know those type of people in restaurants, they always want to try your food. Well, we were having breakfast, and I said to the waiter, I'm, I'm going to order bacon and eggs for breakfast. Jack says, I'll have cream of wheat. And he says, I hate cream of wheat. I said, then why do you order cream of wheat? He says, Mary says it's good for me. I said, tell Mary to eat cream of wheat. I said, you should eat bacon and eggs. Jack said, I, I love bacon and eggs. I said, then why don't you order bacon and eggs? He said, Mary says it's bad for me. I said, tell Mary not to eat bacon and eggs. He says, you know, you know, George, you're right. 
I'm going to do this my way. I'm going to have bacon and eggs too. So, two orders of bacon and eggs. When the bill came, I said to the waiter, give it to Jack Benny. You'll be happy to cover the check. And Jack said, well, wait a second, George. Why, why should I have to cover the check? I said, because if you don't, I'm going to tell Mary that you ordered bacon and eggs. <laughs> that was Jack. Well, I'm going to sing a song now. You know, I have two great passions in life. I love to sing, and I love to drink eggnog at Christmas. Most of my friends would rather listen to me drink eggnog. <laughs> Something about the singing voice, I think. It just wants to come out. Believe me, if you had something inside you like this, you want it to come out too. So, so here's a song. Here's a song from the vaudeville days. It's about love and, and, and heartbreak. Now, you might want to listen to the words because they're very deep. Maestro, in my keeping. <laughs> young girl was jilted by her husband. He left her and went on his merry way. In tearful eyes, she wrote a final letter, in which broken heart had this to say. I'm returning every present that you gave me. I'm sending back each letter that you wrote. Every sweet memento that we cherished The locket that I wore around my throat And close you'll find the mortgage on the house, dear Because I'm fair, you must have been it's true I'm returning everything except the baby That's the one thing that I didn't get from you It's enough thought you'd get a kick out of that one. Well, I guess it's time for a Christmas song. I, I, I changed the lyrics to this to suit myself. Maestro, if you can give me another one. Close enough. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. A kiss below the mistletoe and lots of Christmas cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas. This is just about you and me. I'll show you a thing or two right under the Christmas tree. That's enough of that stuff. Okay, folks, thank you very much. Yes. 
see what I see A star, a star Dancing in the night With a tail as big as a kite With a tail as big The little lamb to the shepherd boy. Do you hear what I hear? Ringing through the sky, shepherd boy. Do you hear what I hear? A song, a song, high above the trees with a voice. Is a sea with a voice as big as the sea. Said the little boy to the mighty king, Do you know what I know? Do you know what I know? In your palace, boy, mighty king. Do you know what I know? Do you know what I know? A child, a child, shivers in the cold, let us bring him silver and gold. Let us bring him silver and gold. Set the king to the people everywhere. Listen to what I say. Pray for peace, people everywhere. Listen to what I say. The child, the child, keeping in the cold.
into the night Feliz 
Yes. 